So you open an Adobe InDesign document and suddenly you see all these scary red question marks. And to make matters worse, when you export it, all your images are blurred or pixelated, which is super scary and a big no-no. But do not worry, don't panic. We'll find a solution now in this tutorial. Okay guys, grab an InDesign document you're working with and let's go. So in order to explain these red scary question marks and blurred or pixelated images when exporting an InDesign file into a PDF, it's absolutely necessary to understand links and missing links. You might start noticing the link icon over here on every single image you've placed. So basically, whenever you place an image from your desktop, from your shared drive, from a folder, you're linking that original image to that image inside InDesign. And this will be called a link. So what you're seeing is a preview of the actual image which is situated in your desktop, your shared drive, whatever. So what I've personally done is when I created this document, which I actually teach in my Adobe InDesign beginners class. So if you wanna learn how to create this entire document, head to the link below and start doing this Adobe InDesign document. So when I created this document, essentially I placed all my images from a folder that I created called brochure, brochure from a folder that I then called links and I placed all my images in and I just popped all these images in my InDesign document. And so these images are currently linked to that folder. I'm also gonna show you how to get the links panel. Now, every single panel in InDesign lives in window. So if you go to window and you click on links, you will see the links panel. And that's just a lot of information about every single image or link that we've placed in InDesign. So if I look at this image, it will say the name, it will say the format, etc. And it will most importantly say status okay. So that means it's all good, we're fine now. Now I'm going to show you what not to do. I'm going to show you how to get a missing link and a red question mark. So I'm gonna minimize InDesign and I'm going to move one of my images from that folder. I'm just gonna pop it elsewhere on my desktop. I'm gonna head back to InDesign and lo and behold, we'll see a red question mark over here and over here in the links panel. Now I'm gonna go back to my desktop and I'm gonna move all these images. I'm gonna pop it elsewhere. Now when I head back to InDesign, I see more of these red scary question marks. Now I can assure you that if I were to export my Adobe InDesign file now as a PDF, all my images would be blurred or pixelated, which is a big no-no, we do not want this. So now we're gonna solve this problem once and for all, and we're gonna learn how to relink these images, which are now missing links. Now this is super easy. All you need to do is hover over that red question mark, which will say missing, double click to relink. And we're gonna double click and we can relink this. Now, because the links panel gives us the name, which this image is called Marco something, which is an image from Unsplash, we can search our desktop, our documents, whatever, for that image. So I could type Marco. And my computer is gonna look for this image, which apparently I have a few duplicates of. And then I'm gonna find that image and I can click on open. And InDesign is so cool and intelligent that it will automatically relink all my images if all my images are situated in the same place. So all my images currently were on my desktop, so it automatically found all of them. This would be a different story if all my images were in different folders now, if I've moved them in different folders because I was trying to tidy up my computer, my colleague was trying to tidy up their computer and they were trying to move things around, then I would have to relink every single image individually. Now, I really recommend against renaming images because if you rename images, then you cannot find them. So keep the names of images as much as you can. It's fine to move images around, but keep the name so you can always search your desktop 
And that is how you can always solve missing links in the future. Or you can avoid missing links altogether in the first place using a simple tool. I teach this in my beginner's Adobe InDesign course, so check it out or don't, that's up to you. The link is below, see you soon.